Hello everyone, welcome to Spartan Investing. Thank you guys for watching. I know it's been quite some time. It's been almost two weeks since I've uploaded a video. I've been very, very busy as of late. And um, I've been keeping up uh, the past few days with the markets. I've been taking a break. I've just been so, so busy with work and all. But... Here's the next video for the special dividend paying companies. So we're going to jump right into it. I have about about 10. I have the list in front of me, but um, again, this list is not in, not in any particular order. So the first stock that we're going to go over is OAS. So again, this is the part two video for the special dividends. And these special dividends are the companies, again, this is for the June 2022 special dividend paying companies. I did a part one video a few weeks ago. So if you haven't seen it, go watch it. Um, so again, these are the special dividend paying companies for June 2022 so the first one on my list that i have that we're gonna go over real quick um again i'm not doing any fundamentals or or technical analysis um i'm gonna save that at a later time i'll probably save it for uh a short video one of my shorts um again after this video i have another video to do with the banking sector i got a lot of catching up to do um i'll just do what i can again i try to at least draw the video week so again i apologize that i haven't thrown out a video i've been very very busy and we're just gonna continue doing um what we do and hopefully you guys watch this and learn and and like the video so we have here oas so they have been paying a special dividend we can see right here the special paying dividend i'm trying to right here so here we go. So we have the 2022 results. This looks like a special dividend. This looks like a special dividend as well. And this is definitely a special dividend. So this one was definitely declared as the special dividend for July 1st. And this is a $15 special dividend payment. So... That is definitely a huge chunk and the year is not even over. So this stock, uh, Oasis Petroleum. So basically they are in the oil and gas production industry. And that's all I'll say about that. With the stock at 109, you see they have a 52 week low of 66 and a 52 week high of 158. So they're still in a pretty good range to go on an uptrend for the year based on momentum. But as of the last few weeks, they've been on a downtrend. So I wouldn't count on it. So you see here from May all the way to basically June, so basically only a few weeks of profit, and that was pretty much it. So that was it for that stock. But again, that was for a short-term play. Um, again, I'm not even. I wasn't even looking at that stock. So again, we're going over the special dividend-paying companies. The next stock that I have on my list is WRB. So WR Berkeley, you see this chart is very, very choppy. The one year looks pretty good. As you can see here, as of March 24th, that's actually my birthday, uh, for 2022, uh, they started to actually remain flat after the split. Um, that's pretty normal for a split. Um, usually you don't see... A trend a strong trend until a few weeks later so we're talking about like i said it was around march late march and then all of a sudden a few weeks later it started to get the uptrend so we're gonna see real quick 
what this company does and we're gonna see the special dividend pay paying company if it is again most likely these are dividend paying companies so that's why we're going over them most of them are and there's just a few that are not but i like looking at them anyway because they might be a good company anyway or again the transaction still has not been completed or again the special dividend paying companies are in the works so maybe they have announced it but they haven't declared what amount and uh when they want to do payments and stuff so everything is just not in the clear yet pretty much that's all but i like looking at the companies anyway so the this company wr berkeley corporation they're basically in the industry for property and casualty insurance now that is definitely a strong sector to be in I, I love that industry actually uh i have a few companies that i do like i'm not gonna list them because you know to each their own everybody's different everybody has their own risk tolerance and their own agenda and their own goals and their own price points or their spending habits as to how much they can afford to spend for a stock so i cannot give any recommendations all i can do is be informative and that's what i'm trying to do so we have here in 2022 and you can see in previous the previous year they actually did pay the special dividend so this looks like a company that does have a habit of paying it i'll look at um a few years before that but i just want to point that out so we do have this special dividend paying company right here for 50 cents and they have a bonus issue, which is rare, a one for two. So with that said, it sounds like they gave a dividend raise. And then let's see if they paid. They have been paying special dividends on a yearly basis. So this stock is definitely on a good uh, note. It's on a good um. on a good note seems like it has a good evaluation again dividend yield is really low i know people don't like that but uh, you get some price appreciation and it's still a decent stock and they do make up for it for the special dividend and that's something that a lot of people do not realize and again i've been posting special dividend paying companies on my channel for a few years now so um i don't recall having this company but i could be wrong so price is at 69.36 again today is july 2nd saturday 2022 so we're in the beginning of july so next one up that i have on my list is hr glf so we have that hr glf let's look into this company again this company may or may not be a special dividend paying company right away i'm looking at the first page i do not like the volume um probably getting some loading issues here i don't know why so the volume looking at that i'm not too crazy about it so we're going to jump right into the dividends if they do pay so for 2020 they did pay a special dividend and for 2021 they did pay a special dividend of 12 cents now if you look at the total payments for 2019 those are two payments in 2020 it's usually two but with the special dividend that makes it three and in 2021 those are three payments including the special dividend so if i'm correct if they they're definitely gonna pay two and hopefully they will pay three so i'm i'm guesstimating that they're gonna pay three payments and so far we have here a dividend payment in march early march for this year at 12 cents again that's a different currency g b p so that might be the the great british pound if i'm not mistaken so great britain has their own currency which is a british pound and that's aside from the euro 
and we're going to take a look at the industry that they're in. So it looks like then they're investment managers. So it looks like that's what they're into. Again, the volume and everything that they're involved in, it doesn't look quite popular or quite active compared to the market and compared to other stocks as well. So again, even if you look at the price, it has no change. So again, uh, no change in the price is at 936. And that's pretty cheap for a stock. But again, you still want some range on the stock. And what I mean is 52 week high and low. So again, this company does pay a special dividend, but I'm not too fond of it, meaning I don't really like it, even though it pays a special dividend. Um, I think there are better ones out there. So the next one up that I have, uh, I actually do have the same company, but a different uh, ticker symbol. So we're going to take a look at that. This is actually delisted. So we're going to move on to the next one. So the next one up that I have is OVBC, O Valley Bank. I'm pretty sure it is a bank, even though I don't know for sure, but it does have the name in it. So I'm assuming it does. We're going to look at the dividend payments. So it looks like they cut the dividend payment, which is not a good sign. But the good thing is, uh, even though they cut it, whoever has not entered into it, they can most likely jump in if they want to and then have those dividends rise. But I don't think this is a, a good stock just based on the dividend history because they've been playing, they've been, you know, paying 21 cents forever and everything has been flat. So it just, it doesn't make any sense for me, in my opinion, to um, look at this stock and call it a good stock. Um, especially for income, um, just based on the dividend history. And the price point, um, I don't like it. I'm not too crazy about it anyway, uh, compared to other stocks right off the top of my head anyway. Uh, so we have here $147 million market cap. And then we have here 52-week low and 52-week high. That's only like a $10 difference. So again, I don't like it. And they are a bank. And again, you know... You don't see any special dividend payments for any of the years prior to that. So again, this company is not a special dividend paying company. And I don't think it's a good company anyway. Just by looking at what we went over anyway. So the next one up that I have is OHZ. Omnia Holdings. So we have that here at uh, $4.00. Um, looking at the market cap, I don't like it. 52 week high and low. Awful. Even if they do pay a special dividend, which they do not. And looks horrible anyway. Um, I don't know if this is a new stock. Because for some reason, the press releases, I only have two pages for press releases. So I don't know what's going on with this stock that it could delisted or something or I don't know it's just I know this stock is very inactive but it seems like this stock almost doesn't even exist I have like no info on it uh nothing 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 so we're gonna move on from this stock I'm gonna pretend this stock is gonna get delisted or something it's just not active it's really really dead to be honest so the next stock that I have up is DK. This is DLEC US Holdings. So we're going to look at, this is a pretty active stock. Market cap is not too bad. 52 week high and low. Okay, it seems pretty fair. Has some range on it. So now we're going to look at the press releases. And we're going to see if they did pay a special dividend. Uh, it seems like a decent stock. I mean, they were flat for so many years. They haven't paid a special dividend. But we see here in 2018, as of right here, they did start to do a raise in their dividend. 
And then from that was the end of 2018. So they did raise from here to here, and then they raised 25 cents to 26, and such and so forth, all the way to 2019. They raised it again, at least a penny each quarter. So this is a rising dividend paying company, but the last time they made a payout was in August of 2020. So they did stop paying dividends. So again, this company does not pay dividends anymore. And it is in the oil and gas refining market. So we're going to move on to the next one. Next one up that I have is CFF. CFF. So, awful number. Market cap is awful. 52 week high and low is awful. The chart looks awful. I don't have them paying a special dividend. So, Conifex Con Timber. I'm assuming they're, yeah, okay, wood products, which they are. So, they do not pay special dividends so next one up that i have is dark pulse dp oh hold up dp l s this is a otc stock it's only two cents awful company i wouldn't wish it for anyone um I don't think this company pays a special dividend. I mean, why would it if it's only worth two cents? This is awful. I'm glad they don't uh, pay any anything because this stock is not even worth it. And again, it's an OTC stock. So we're just going to move on to the next one since they don't pay. And again, I said it before my video. Most of these stocks do pay special dividend, but on occasions, we'll have maybe one or two or a few stocks that don't pay the special dividends. But again, they just happen to be on my list because that's what I was notified for. So this stock does pay a special dividend, hasn't paid a dividend at all. So this is the first time. So they paid a dividend of 68 cents. And they had a split in August of 2021. And we're going to look at the profile for this. So they do online services. So this is an online education group based in China. And where, are, where else they are located? Beijing. So they just do online live streaming, audio, video, interactive courses. So I'm guessing they teach also languages, which is what I've, I've heard about that, that they teach um, overseas to people and they teach them English because English is a universal language. So we're going to look at the dividend yield so far. So we have here... Maybe they did pay a dividend because for some reason I have 1.36. So maybe at one time they did pay. Oh, excuse me. Maybe they did pay a dividend at one time, but as of right now, they are not. And I don't like the price anyway. And they did pay a special dividend, but again, based on the share price and the range, I'm going to say no. Earnings per, per share seems strong, but... Since they're in China and it, the market cap is pretty awful and I don't like the share price, even though earnings says otherwise, I'm going to say no and move on to the next one. So I do not like that company. Um, you can find something else or something similar. Next one up, GFF, Griffin Corporation. So... Share price is okay. Range on the 52-week high and low is okay. Market cap is okay. So, okay, they are a positive earning company. They seem okay. So, they are in the industry for construction supplies and fixtures. So, we're going to look 
at a special dividend if they did pay. So in previous years, they have really not paid much of special dividends, just rising dividends. Um, I don't like the company for using it as an investment style for income, even though they did pay a special dividend in 2018 and for 2022. Um, they are rising dividends, but as n not as fast as I like it. Um, I just, I, I don't like the company, uh, based off the income model. But again, they seem pretty active. So again, they are a special dividend paying company. Um, would I invest in this company? Yes or no? I mean, I say watch list. That's the best I can do. Um, but again, I'm not crazy about it. Um, I do, I do like that they pay rising dividends, but it's just not enticing for me. It's not as good of a raise as I'd like to see. I think there are much better stocks out there that pay more rising dividends for total returns. So you get more bang for your buck. And again, these are just, uh, a lot of these special dividend paying companies, most of them, they tend to be like low caps, low, low caps. So, low market cap. So, I just, I don't know why. But, I guess I want to entice people to invest in the company. So, we're almost done here. Uh, so, one of the last ones that I have is Sanofi. This stock was actually popular during the COVID outbreak. And, I think I did cover it. And... We're going to type in the whole name because they have a bunch of similar names as well. So these are actually the last two. So Sanofi, we're going to look at that. And the stock seems pretty active. $127 billion market cap. So that is an insane amount of market cap. This is definitely a mega cap company or close to it. This is definitely a strong company. So we have here earnings per share at 2.9. Dividend is at 1.74. Uh, this is definitely a company that seems pretty good just on market cap. Uh, definitely, definitely can do some takeovers with a market cap that strong. So again, they do pay dividends. I want to see if they pay rising dividends and no cuts. So I'm glad they have info at least 10 years behind. So... They only pay yearly, as we can see here, since 2010. Yearly, 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 yearly. So we're going to keep scrolling up, and we're going to see if they have paid any special dividends. So it only looks like for 2022 that they have made two payments. So they made a payment of 1.74, and that was back in May of this year. And... For May of this year, they paid, I'm trying to see, a special dividend right here of $0.29. Cents. So when we look back, we're going to add up the basically $0.29 cents with the $0.74. Cents. So you're looking above $2. So that's, a, that's less than $2, so that's definitely a raise. So again... They do pay a dividend, but they're not rising dividends. Okay, so so far I noticed they're definitely over a dollar. That's guaranteed. So now let's say, uh, is it over a dollar fifty? So the last time they paid a dollar fifty or more was actually back in two thousand and eight, but it dipped down to one point four one. So a dollar and forty one cents in two thousand and nine. So ever since 2010, they've been paying above a dollar fifty, and as you can see here, that was erased, but then it dropped down again here. Then let me do it like this to not confuse you guys. So let's look at the last ten years. Um, let's go back to. I want to go back to 2010 because that way you guys can see it. So from here to here, that was erased. From here to here. That was a raise from here to here. That was a drop. So this was a raise, raise, a drop, 
a tiny raise. And this was a drop, raise, drop, drop, raise, drop. And you know, look at all this. So we have uh, one, look at all these misses here. You know, these. this is not consistent. As you can see here, half the time they're giving raises and half the time they're making cuts. And again, they only pay once a year. I get that they try to, some companies like to pay, it's very rare for a company to pay yearly. And I understand why they do that because they don't know at the end of the year or during the year how much they want to pay out or if they can pay out special dividends or dividends. Now, if the company has been around for so long, you should already know more or less of a minimum how much you're going to pay in which I already calculated uh, the last time they paid at least $1.50 and I was just guesstimating and being generous. So I looked at back at the last 10 years trying to just by looking at the numbers average it out. So a minimum of $1.50 and mind you that was 10 years ago. So we go back to 2012 and 10 years all the way up to now, 2022, you would think, okay, if $1.50 was the last 10 years, so now we, if we want to do a future forecast, cast that out, let's do a $0.25 cent increase for the, like the le next five years. So now we're going to raise the stakes, and now let's see at least the last five years if they paid $1.75 cents. So when we do that, or if we want to lower our expectations, and let's say, even if we do a dollar sixty, I think a dollar sixty for the year is kind of low. I think twenty five cents is pretty fair. So again, I said a dollar seventy five. The only time they paid above a dollar seventy five or close to it, these two were close. So in twenty nineteen and twenty twenty, they were close, but. They just didn't make it. In 2021, they did. And in 2018, they did. And so, that was pretty much it. That was pretty much it. So, again, these are mostly cuts and increases mixed together. I don't like that. I don't know how people deal with it. Um, Maybe people just go on instinct because they like the company or they think they can make more on the company because they, they see the price of the stock and it's priced pretty decent, but then also they look at the market cap and, you know, whatever else people want to evaluate, that's on them. But again, um, I'm not too crazy about the company. I think it's a good, a good company, but me personally, I just wouldn't invest in it. Um, the reason being, um, the earnings are kind of low compared to their peers. There's there are slightly better companies out there, and then the, the total dividend payment, and, and I, just by the numbers, um, they're okay compared to their peers. They're just um, not as good as their peers. That's all I'm saying. Again, I think they're a good company, but they're, they're just not for me. So, again, that's the last company. So, again, they did pay a special dividend. This is the first time. Um, hopefully not the last. I could be wrong. Not sure. I don't know. Whatever happens, happens. So Sanofi, they did pay the special dividend. And again, they do not pay increasing dividends. They just pay random dividend payments. So with that said, this is the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. I know I talk so much, but I like to get my point across and keep it simple and make sure you guys understand as to what I'm trying to perceive to get you guys to understand it simply. So I, I just hope I'm doing a good job with that. And I hope you guys learn a thing or two from my channel, like I always say. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. I have at least two more videos to go. So stay tuned for the next one. I'm going to be doing the banking sector again. I've been saying that for the past like 10 months. The banking sector is really hard. They have so many stocks. But again, I'm going to continue to do that. So 
I can help you guys understand different sectors and industries and knock out stocks one by one so you guys can hear the names, understand the names, and be familiar with the names. So if not, um, I'll do that on my own. I have my own investing journal here on my channel. So um, what you guys lose out, I gain for an advantage. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.